Hello, my knights and ladies. I am Kristen with the uh, Queen Anne's County Library, and today we're going to be doing a, a magical tea, and we're going to be making a magic wand as part of that. Um, so let's see what is inside our envelopes that we should have picked up from the library. Uh, pour it out. Let's see, we have the makings of our wand. Here is an example of what it's going to look like, minus the glitter. Here we go. And so we have one straw, which will make our, our stick for our wand. We should have two stars, our ribbon. We have some glitter, the paper to put the glitter on for well, when we're um, putting the glitter on our stars. And then we should also have some tea and lemonade. So you can break into that at any point. Um, I'm probably gonna wait for mine until while well, I wait for some of the glue to dry. At home, um, hopefully you have some glue and then a pair of scissors. So let's get started, shall we? Making our wand. The first thing we need to do is take one of our stars and then in the center of it, put your glue. like that and then you want to add your ribbon from the ribbon um, using the side that has the knot on it put that in the center and then you're going to take your um, wand that has the staples on it and push that into it and then hold that down for a second for it to set a little bit and then after that you're going to take your glue and you're gonna go around your star on the outside edge. And just keep going around. Okay. And then just place your other star on top. Now you'll also be able to find these written instructions on your envelope here. If you have any questions about what's happening. So we're going to want to wait for this to dry. So put a little pressure on it. And then this is the time that you want to um, dip into your tea and um, spend some time with your family while we wait for this to dry should start to look like this. Okay, well, I'm gonna go get some tea. Actually, I'm gonna get some lemonade and I'll be right back. Well, my lawn has mostly dried here, so now it's time to start with the real fun. And that is, of course, the glitter. So you wanna um, figure out what design you wanna do on your star and then put it with the glue and then put your, um, then you'll wanna put your glitter on top of it and shake it off, the extra bits. So I'm just gonna do little dots around. And I hope you enjoyed your, your tea or your lemonade while we were waiting for it to dry. Of course, we'll have to wait for this to dry too for it to be fully finished. Okay. Let's see what kind of madness I've created now with this glitter. This glitter goes everywhere. I'm just gonna shake it on. It's important to have that um, piece of paper underneath so you can at least try to pick up the glitter the extra bit. Shake, shake, shake. Shake off my extras. Looks like I got a little crazy here with some of my glue, so I'll wipe that off. And then 
with a little bit more glitter on the side. You can either take your extra glitter or you can pour some more out, whichever seems to be easiest. Let me just do some more. I want to make sure this looks very sparkly. Otherwise, what's the fun in that? Right? Shake, shake, shake. Shake it off. And now I have my sparkles on this side. If you want to, you can wait and um, add more sparkles to your other side so it's equally balanced. Um, the last step that you'll want to do once all of this dries would be to um, get one of your uh, adult family members to to curl your ribbons here. So you just take your scissors, put this flat on the table, and just curl like that. Two more to go. That one unfortunately ended up in my glitter. Oh no. And then last one. And then you just kind of pull them down to stretch them out a little bit. And there you go. Your magic wand has been created. I hope you guys have a very fun day today with your family and your magic wands and looking gorgeous as ever, all dressed up in your magical best. We hope to see you soon at the library. Bye.